There. That's it. That's him. Greetings, salutations, happy holidays, whatever this is. It's after the holidays. What's going on, folks? You know who I am. You know what I do. I'm about to get busy. Shit's going to get real with me. Now, I'm talking about something that, like, a lot of you people don't like. A lot of you people like my little topic. Some of you don't care less either way. You know, I'm going to do me. That's the bottom line. And I'm talking about something that has kind of thing in America, but it's slowly related. It's going to be, like, a way of life that has been threatening. British alcoholism. Now, the Brits are thinking about raising the price on like cheap liquors and trying to ban cheap liquors and try, they're, they're trying to do this because if you ever been over to the, the UK or if you ever been to anywhere in the British Isles, you know those people are the biggest drunks in the world. Like, and, and that's saying something. Like, you know, I'm near Kentucky, so I, and I, and I lived in Pennsylvania, so that's saying something. These people are the biggest drunks, like per capita, not even per capita, per ca- for every statistic, the British Isles are the biggest drunks in the world. Even the Russians think they're drunks. Even the people in the, like the Croatians and all that, they they, they, they some heavy drinkers too. And they, they're, they're drunks. Polish people, you know, the people from Poland, they're heavy drinkers and they call them drunks. But then the day, like, but the British government wants to curb all these, like, there's a lot, of, like, like here in America, it's the same thing. You got a lot of these cheap liquors. You can make liquor cheap on the cheap. Like companies can do it on the cheap. They sell it cheap. You get a little. I mean, if you see a homeless person, you've probably seen what them. Like there's dollar vodkas here. There's dollar whatever here. Little mini shots. This that, and the fifth. I, and I ain't gonna lie. One day I was short on money back in the day. And I just had this store. I just got myself a dollar vodka. It almost made me went blind. Who almost like fucking wood thinners or paint thinners? Something damn. But that's not the point. The point is. They want to like curb all this British alcoholism, which is basically their birthright. If you fuck it, damn near their birthright. Go to Ireland, by the way. Woo, that's even worse. But it's their base, for, it's their they, it's their birthright. Over there, they're using that excuse. Well, they do it so they don't have to pay more down the road, which I can understand it because me and my buddies used to do it all the time. We used to get we used to get hammered before we went to the club. That way, we wouldn't shell a bunch of money getting hammered going to the club. But uh, but still, I digress. The video is about how they want to curb national alcoholism because, you know, there's been accidents and deaths and the usual stuff that comes with alcohol. Now, me personally, I believe in moderately drinking. Myself, I drink like at social events now. Like back in the day when me and my friends, we were doing, like when we were running around, we were drinking. We, Wednesday through Sunday was a blur because we were just out there drinking and doing, we were partying and having fun, but we weren't doing anything to cause trouble. Well, depending on who you ask, but now the citizens, they feel that the government has become more intrusive in this. Now, I understand no point about if you want to raise taxes on it because, like, it's a sin tax, and in a way, I can agree to produce more revenue, just like raise get, raise one of the sin taxes. You won't get much of an outcry, but you'll raise money. But I can understand the government's point of view. But at the end of the day. England is trying to be what they always people think they always are, like a big nanny state, you know. Me personally, you know, I don't mind dirt cheap booze. I don't drink it anymore because, you know, that's a, once you get a little scratch to your nanny, you guys like spend it like you got it. Of course, if my friends ride with me, they get like water when they drink, you know how that goes. But, uh, in the day, I'll, me personally, it don't matter how much you price it or how much you tax it. If you're a drunk, you're still going to get it. There's always people willing to buy it for you. I've been known to give bums a few bucks or even, I'll give you an ex- example. I was downtown in a certain city. You know, if you're in certain cities in America, you got the panhandlers, you got the guys with the sun, you got all, hey, give me a dollar, I need a job, whatever, this happened to fit. Well, this is one dude came up to me, you know, he, he, I, like I give him one, I give him a look over, make sure he's actually is homeless, so you know, one of these guys with clean nails and, you know, no dirty pants is asking for money. So he goes, hey man, can I, can I have a few bucks, you know, he goes, I want to get something to eat. I looked down, he said, he already smelled like Old Spice and fucking, you know, uh, what's it, and, and Wild Irish Rose, that's another one. He smelled like that, so I knew the deal. So I went up to him, I said, hey man, do you want this money to get you something to eat or not? He kind of had his day and said, yes. I said, look, here's what I'll do. I said, it's a, I said, I'll give you the money if you don't lie to me. Yeah, I said, if you don't lie to me, I'll give you the money. I said, if you're going to do this to buy yourself some alcohol, get you something to drink, I don't problem giving it to you to help you out. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done it, but at the end of the day, once in a while, I feel nice and give, 
give a couple bucks to the homeless. He said, he, after a while, he just shook his head and said, yes, you know, I'll, you know, I want to get something to drink. I said, what are you going to get a drink with this? All you're going to get is old Irish rose or a beast or something. So what I did, I went in there and I felt like I said, I felt good. So I just got him, you know, I got a little bottle for him and his buddies. I said, here, and then I said, fuck it, here, I gave him a bottle of goods. And I said, he goes, hey, man, you're cool. I said, yeah, yeah. But the point of the point of it is, no matter how you ban it or how much you add price to it or tax it, Drunks are going to get drunk, so uh, the only way you're going to curb it if you don't make it, and that's prohibition, and that's something you're not going to do in England because you guys are funny when you're drunk, when you're sober, you guys are real anal, so I don't know what you're going to do. Goodbye, Mother England. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.